Lars Matank was a young German went on a holiday trip with friends to Bulgaria while there he was involved in a fight with some other tourists and suffered a ruptured eardrum due to his injury Lars Matank was unable to fly so he couldn't return with his friends to Germany. He rented an hostel in a poor area of Bulgaria determined to wait until his ear healed enough, however the same night Lars Matank called his mother and said something is strange about the hostel he is staying in and said she should cancel all of his credit cards, even same night Lars Matank called his mother again this time saying that four strangers men were following him then he was hiding. Few hours later Lars Matank took in cab and arrived at the Bulgaria airport early morning hour. On airport security cameras he was seen with his luggages Later he was seen running out of the airport leaving high luggage behind. Eyewitnesses said Lars Matank ran to fence which surrounds the airport and climbed over the fence and disappeared in nearby woods. From this day Lars Matank has never been found. His family has asked if anybody with any information contact their website or face Facebook. On late October 2015 the seasoned British journalist Jackie Sutton arrived at a Turkish airport to catch her connecting flights later she was found dead on an airport restroom. Reportedly Jackie Sutton had committed suicide hanging herself using one of her shoelaces. Now here things turn even strange early reports by the Turkish media stated that Jackie Sutton had become very upset after missing her flight of Iraq because she couldn't afford the purchase any ticket. However later reports revealed that Sutton could have easily paid for a new ticket. She was found carrying over $2,000 and two cards. Even more suspicious was another security camera taking shortly after Jackie Sutton's death. Shows her carrying two bags appeared to be shopping bags. This is made at the duty-free shop in the airport. Critics have argued that it seems unlikely that Jackie Sutton will certainly decide to do shopping before committing suicide. So Jackie Sutton's death is suicide or something more sinister. On the evening of February 23, 2014, Alan Gell took in strange trip through Cornwall, England captured by surveillance camera Gell spent his evening wandering the streets of several different cities for hours. And then back to Perrin Porth. No one knows why Alan Gell took this strange trip or what he was doing wandering the streets of four different cities all night. The next morning dead body of Alan Gell was found washed up on the shore of Perrin Porth Beach. Gell was naked except one sock and one shoe. But the story gets stranger. Alan Gell's another sock found washed up inside his mouth wrapped in cord of the earbud type headphone. Near his body a black jacket was found with 95 British pounds but his cards bank cards and ID were missing. However the wallet contains a single bizarre picture of Alan Gell as a child. Even stranger was the jacket which he was found was not the same as he was wearing before his death. This way Alan Gell's death was thought to just be a very strange suicide however autopsy revealed multiple unexplained injuries in his hands chest and head. Police ruled the death as suspicious. Now case still remains unsolved. One of the most disappearances of recent history is that of Jameson family Oklahoma. As Perthier Brandan the Jamisons told him that their home was haunted by angry spirits. Jamisons said that they have contacted with spirits of dead family in their house, and their six-year-old daughter Madison often talked to the dead family's child. Jamison said that two of the girls Emily and Michael and one of the apparitions had wings like an angel. Allegedly fearing for the safety of his family Bobby Jamison had asked Postar Brendan to get special bullets so that he could use to fire up the intruding spirits. Postar Brendan also said that Jamison's mentioned that he has obtained gold in Satanic Bible in order to attempt word of the ghost spirits. On October 8, 2009 the Jamison family loaded their pickup truck. They can be seen on their home front security camera moving things from their house to truck. 
Bizarrely the family seems to be in some sorts of days or trans-like state making dozens of trips back and forth from the house to truck. But never talking to each other. Once after loading the truck the Jamisons pulled out of the driveway and were never seen live again. Eight days later Jamison's truck was found by the side of the road. Locked inside the truck was Jamison's wallet, their IDs their cell phones and $32,000 cash. Locked inside the truck was the family's dog. He nearly died of starvation. Massive state search was launched through the family over the next eight months. But nothing was found. Multiple theories were circulated one of them was that the couple were drug addicts and had been involved in drugs deal gone bad. The theory will also explain the trans-like state in the final video of the family. However absolutely no evidence of drugs was found when the police searched the Jamison's house. Four years after the death Jamison's family's disappearance the skeleton remains of Jamison's family were found in remote area of Fallon Mountains less than 300 miles from where the Jamison's truck had been found. Bodies were forensically identified as the remains of Jamison's family. However the bodies were so badly decomposed that no cause of death determined. Reasons of the Jamison's family's strange behavior and the cause of their death remains a mystery till date. The last case on our list is very strange case of that that is surrounded by the mystery. 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson body was discovered on the January 11, 2013 in Lowndes High School, Georgia. He was found dead in the center of the rolled-up wrestling mat in school's gym. An autopsy was carried out on Johnson's body to find out the cause of death, which was concluded to be accidental with investigators said that he got stuck trying to retrieve his shoe and suffocated. However Johnson's family was not satisfied with the autopsy report and decided to hire an private detective and pathologist to get a certain opinion. This time autopsy report was different and was concluded that Kendrick had died from blunt trauma force. The autopsy also reported of newspaper stuck on Kendrick's body as well as missing organs and the missing cloth on the day of his death. Johnson's family now strongly believe that Kendrick was murdered and there was a cover-up by the local police department. On November of 2013 290 hours of CCTV footage from inside the school was released to CNN following a court request which shows Johnson entering the gym minutes before he died. However over three hours CCTV footage was missing. Many other details of the case are very bizarre including the size of the hall of wrestling mat, which was 14.5 inches. However Johnson's shoulder were 90 inches across, so how could he fit? as well as many other details were that don't seem to add up. Two brothers Brian and Brendan were Johnson's classmate and they happened to be the son of a FBI agent arguably been questioned. As it turns out both have refused to be interviewed at the request of their father and two years prior to the death of Kendrick allegedly got into a fight with the younger brother. In 2015 Kendrick Johnson's family filed a $100 million lawsuit against 38 individuals. They are desperately trying to seek answers of what actually happened to their son and who killed him. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos subscribe to my channel. Your one click will do a lot to me. Cheers.